all trimmed off uh, and uh, I've done an initial sanding to 120 uh, and I've just been marking the body for some stuff I'll show you that in a minute so first time I've done a test bit with the neck since I put the top on I deliberately when I routed around the um, the neck joint I put some masking tape on because the original neck joint was a little used and that's worked a treat because it's now quite a nice tight neck joint around the uh, the top which is just what I wanted um, put the neck on and I ran a, a straight line to get a center line um, and I'm sort of really basing that upon where the, the neck sits rather than adjusting it too much it's not far out it's um, hardly out at all actually looking at that um, and then what I did was for placement of everything I decided the simplest the cheapest approach was just to buy uh, one of these cheap you know uh, HSH HSH I'll never get that right um, guards uh, and I've just used that to mark everything out um, so I'll show you um, here we go um, only difference being I'm only going to use uh, two two knobs at one volume one time uh, we'll talk about that when we talk about electrics etc um, I'll start routing, I suppose. observant of you will have realized that uh, I've not done the routing because I'm procrastinating about that as ever <laughs> hey ho so uh, what I did was I decided to do the um, the hill shaping um, which I thought I'll get that done um, today however the ferrule I'm using ferrules on the back I'm not using a plate I'm going to use the ferrules um, the ones I've used in the previously have been 12 millimeters so uh, I sailed away and then Luckily, I checked the size of the ones that I'd got this time, and they're 14 millimeters. And I don't have a 40 millimeter brad point bit, um, so one's on order. Hey ho! So then I decided um, this afternoon to do a job that I didn't film because it scares the life out of me, <laughs> and I'd rather not be worrying about filming and all that. Uh, and that is putting the hole for the jack socket. Um, so You'll notice that what I've not done is I've not used the boat that's available because it's being a strap body, uh, but I've gone for a side mount. Um, that was my thinking. Um, on reflection, I might regret, I regret that now. Well, more than anything, because it was a long way in. Um, so, uh, I had a long bit, um, but unfortunately these bits do wander. And this one wandered quite a bit, but we're very lucky that it didn't come through the top. Um, you may not be able to see that. Oh, yes, you can. There you go. It's that hole there. That is the one that goes to the original jack socket that was put in originally. And then that one is the one that I've drilled. Um, and it's coming because it's quite a long angle, you see, because of the way. Um, so I'm thinking to myself, you know, oh, barrel jack would have been. I've never used barrel jacks. Now I realise why people do. But anyway. Um, because the other problem is, because I can't use a barrel jack, um, I've got to use, you know, an actual jack socket, and therefore that needs to be quite big. Um, so, 
step a drill bit. Uh, I watched, did have a quick look at doing it with a force and a bit, but realised that I was probably going to screw that up. So I used this um, to get in, and then I've used. Um, uh, I've just been tidying it up with um, my oscillating spindle sander uh, substitute. <laughs> Um, but to be honest, you wouldn't have been able to do that on an oscillating spindle sander, so anyway, that. Uh, and I think that's okay now. Might need a little bit more tidying up, but I think we're there with that. Um, yeah. So I will have to get on there with the routing, because I've got no reason not to. Um, and um, I can't really do the holes. I don't want to, I want to do them all at once, uh, rather than drill some through and then the others. Um, really only getting that ready so that then I can figure out how I'm going to shape the neck when I get onto, uh, onto that. But anyway, routing next, promise. Do some routing. There we are. H S S H. I'll never get this right, will I? Um, and the trim cavity done. Uh, I need to think about drilling the holes through. Those bits are easy, but then the switch I'm debating how to do. Um, so I don't have an easy way to do that. Um, but anyway, that's where we're at. Um, so the next thing will be the holes. So I think the body is now done, mostly. Uh, what have I done? I've cut the ferrule holes and the neck mounting holes. 
Uh, I have cut the bridge mounting holes and the holes for the pots. Um, what you just saw me, hopefully what you just saw me doing, if I haven't lost the footage, is I've just put a couple of little black dots there, which were side marking uh, uh, mark dots, um, so that they're sort of like markers for the um, for the controls. That's the, that was the idea. Um, as you can see, I've drilled the screw mounting holes for the switch, and I've drilled at either end of the slot, but I've not drilled the slot yet. So my two options on that are either to try and cut it by hand, or I've ordered now a two millimeter um, router bit. So I'm still not 100% confident of doing it with the router, but that's possibly where I'm going to go. Um, but essentially, the work that's the only thing I can think I need to do on the body apart from the usual sanding and finish. But we'll talk about sanding and finish when we get to talking about sanding and finish. Um, I was going to tell you about the hardware, so let's do that. So let's show you the hardware <coughs> in the order they just come out. So there's the first thing to notice. Yeah, I've gone gold. Uh, I decided to do a bit of bling. So some strap blocks. Those are the ferrules and the mounting, the neck mounting screws. Uh, so jack plate. And I don't like uh, direct mounted uh, pickups. I don't like the look of them basically. So I bought some uh, of these um, pickups around. Uh, so I've got, and I've got another one of them. The, hard, the humbuckers have turned up with these very weird screws. I'm not sure if I'm going to use them, so I might find some different screws for them. Some uh, roller strings, because I thought I'd go gold. Uh, I think that's it. There's another humbucker ring in there. Um, now, so I've gone for some uh, locking tuners, just fairly standard ones. And finally, I think. Finally, the bridge. So yes, I'm going for a Wilkinson two-point bridge, which should have been obvious, I suppose, from the way I've just drilled everything. Uh, but it's a two-point bridge. Uh, oh, yeah, knobs. So I've got these. These are wooden. Uh, rosewood, I think these were. Um, these are, yeah. So, gone for them. On the control knobs. Um, so, big shout out to, I think, I think all of this, yes, all of this has come from uh, Northwest Guitars. So um, they're always good if you're in the UK and looking for um, supplies of stuff. Uh, always found them very good. Um, and that's the hardware. So I think we'll call it there for uh, episode three. Um, so in this episode, I've shaped up the top, got that flush and everything. I've done all the drilling of holes, etc. I've done all the routing. Uh, and like I say, the only thing that's outstanding is, is that uh, switch slot um, so you will see how I do that when I do it um, I'll get the route a bit and have a try with that and then make a decision about whether I'm going to risk that um, but I probably will just for the giggle um, anyway thanks for everyone for tuning in um, I'm off on holiday now so um, it will be a little while before you see another one um, what have we got to do we've got to think about sanding the body and finishing it so we need to talk about that and I need to practice what I'm going to do on the finish because uh, I've never done what I'm going to do again. Um, um, and the neck needs some work. I need to think about um, headstock and um, I'm going to try and shape it. You know, I've done the carve on the uh, on the body. I want to shape it into that as well. So, um, uh, yeah. So I don't know what will be next, whether it will be neck work or whether it will be finish work. That will that'll depend how I feel after my holiday. So thanks everyone for tuning in. Um, please like and subscribe and all of that. Please leave comments. Do enjoy seeing people's comments. Um, your uh, advice is always uh, received well, even if it's not what I did in the end. Um, but I, I love to learn from what other people do uh, uh, and what their suggestions are for better ways of doing things. Uh, but anyway, thanks very much, and uh, we'll see you in episode four.